Hello friends, welcome to yet another captivating session of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubhru and friends, I'm quite sure you have already guessed it from the thumbnail that today I am gonna give you some extremely important idioms for everyday English conversation. So it is my earnest request to all of you, please watch this video carefully till the end. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Three, two, one. So friends, welcome back once again to this fascinating session of idioms for reading this conversation and as I have promised today, I'm gonna give you some extremely important idioms for everyday English conversation. So before I go ahead and discuss all the important idioms for everyday English conversation, let me quickly remind all of you that I have provided some more links on English idioms in the description. So if you want to learn some more interesting idioms, do not forget to check the links which are given in the description. So without further ado, let's get started with today's 10 idioms for everyday English conversation. So friends, the first idiom for everyday English conversation I'm gonna discuss is on your screen that is jump the gun let me repeat once again it's jump the gun so let me tell you it's a very useful one it means to do something too quickly without thinking about it so that's called to jump the gun that means when you act very quickly without thinking much about it that's called to jump the gun and you, you act without thinking and you take a hasty decision so that's called jump the gun let me show you how to use this very important idiom so as you see the example is on your screen some journalist jumped the gun and started criticizing the movie before its release that means they started criticizing the movie before it released so i'm quite sure it's clear up next we are going to focus on the second important idiom for everyday english conversation which is on your screen that is go through hell go through hell is also a fascinating idiom and it means to have a very difficult or unpleasant time that's called to go through hell. That means when someone goes through a very difficult or unpleasant time or a situation, that's called to go through hell. It is very easy to use. Let me show you how to use it. Civilians of war affected zones went through hell. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Up next, we are going to see the third fascinating idiom for today. That is go to hell. So let me repeat it. Go to hell. It is in fact a way of saying and it is used to angrily tell someone to leave you alone and go away. When you ask someone angrily to leave you alone and go away, so that's called go to hell and you say that please go to hell. So like this we say angrily and ask someone to go away. So let me show you how to use it. I'm not playing with you anymore so you can go to hell. So like this way you can use this beautiful idiom. Up next we are going to turn our attention to the next and the fourth idiom for today that is it's high time. It's a very useful one. Let me repeat it's high time. It means it is time to do something that should have been done a long time ago. So that's called it's high time. It is time to do something that should have been done a long time before. Something that should have been done before. Yes, now maybe you are asking to do it. That's called it's high time. That time we use this idea. It's high time. Let me show you how to use it. It is slightly tricky. So as you see the example, it's high time you start performing or else you will be terminated. That means you should have started it before and now we have to start performing or else you will be terminated. I'm quite sure it's clear. It's kind of idiom which is used to warn someone it's high time you pay attention. So like this way you can use this beautiful idiom. Up next we are going to focus on the fifth very useful idiom that is on your screen that is raise a few eyebrows. Let me repeat once again it's raise a few eyebrows. You must have heard of it. It's a very interesting one. It means to surprise or shock. To surprise or shock is to raise a few eyebrows. That means when you surprise people or shock people. So that's called raise a few eyebrows. So let me show you how to use it. Tom's rude behavior raised a few eyebrows during last night's party. So let me go ahead and discuss the next one that is number six. Six essential idiom is on your screen. Number six is on your screen. It is no or you can say without rhyme or reason. No rhyme or reason or without rhyme or reason. Both can be said. And let me tell you the meaning. It means something that happens without logical explanation. Something illogical 
and there is no logic behind something something has happened and there is no logic or no proper explanation behind it that's called no rhyme or reason or without rhyme or reason let me show you how to use it sam was terminated without rhyme or reason that means he was terminated without any reasons without logical explanation there was no logic behind this termination i'm quite sure it's clear up next let's focus on the seventh very useful idiom for everyday english conversation that is on your screen that is risk one's neck let me repeat once again it's risk one's neck you must have understood slightly but let me tell you the meaning it means to do something that put someone in danger that's called risk someone's neck or risk one's neck so let me show you how to use this beautiful idiom the police officer risked his neck chasing the notorious gangster that means he put himself in danger by chasing the notorious gangster i'm quite sure it's clear up next let's turn our attention to the eighth useful idiom for everyday english conversation that is on your screen that is give someone a hard time it's a very useful idiom for spoken english so let me tell you the meaning give someone a hard time means to make things difficult for someone when you make life or situation difficult for someone or make things difficult for someone that's called give someone a hard time so let me show you how to use it ben's teacher gave him a hard time after he failed in his exam that means he made his life difficult because he failed in this examination maybe he started giving him more and more tasks so that he can improve because he failed in his examination that's why this idiom is used ben's teacher gave him a hard time after he failed in his exam so i'm quite sure it's crystal clear Up uh, next, let's turn our attention to the ninth powerful idiom for everyday English conversation. That is running battle. Let me repeat once again. It's running battle. Running battle is a very useful one. It means an argument or fight with someone that continues over a long period of time. Some sort of argument or fight or dispute that is going on for a long time. That's called a uh, running battle. So let me show you how to use this wonderful idiom. as you see the example there was a running battle between the two neighboring nations for a decade that means there was a running battle between the two neighboring nations that continued perhaps for a decade so i'm quite sure is clear so let me move on to the last idiom for today that is the 10th one which you see on your screen that is pay your way pay your way is a very important idiom it means to earn to pay for one's expenses when you earn to pay for your own expenses own expenditure that's called to pay your way so let me show you how to use this beautiful idiom the young student worked part time to pay his way so let me repeat the young student worked part time to pay his way that means he worked part time to bear or pay his expenditure perhaps or bear his expenses so i'm quite sure is clear so friends today i gave you 10 extremely useful idioms for everyday english conversation they are super cool and super easy to incorporate in your spoken english and you can use most of them in your writing also and if you are going to appear for ielts speaking test or writing test you can also incorporate these idioms in your ielts test easily So friends I'm quite sure you have also liked this video like my other videos so it is my earnest request to all of you please try to go through the examples and try to make sentences and comment below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so stay tuned for further informative videos friends and do not forget to like share